Hello everybody, what is up? Back with another episode of Doki Doki Video. The Doki Doki Literature Club. I set up as a mystery guide. Yeah, the Doki Doki Literature Club. I said I was gonna make this on Friday and then the other day, but I got caught with a bunch of stuff and then yesterday I had stuff to do. I had a lot of things to do today, but I just sort of decided to make a video and I just told the person that I was doing the things with that I'm um, holding off to, for a while. And then I'll make this and then we can get back to it. Which is me starting my thing. Oh, without further ado, let's just hop right into this and yeah. We left off last time, we had to pick who we wanted to help out over the weekend for the festival. I decided to pick Yuri because that's the route we're doing. So she's gonna come over and we're gonna make decorations. <clears throat> It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is quite an introvert and also an in 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 intimate person in general. There is no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when she's just the, when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've even been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't too long before I was already learning more about her. Uh, putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I said to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I'm simply tell her I'm coming over much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often, we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's house like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor. I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom when I f where I finally find her. Sayori! Hi, Griffin. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sarah's Zoom is as messy as it always has been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you still didn't want to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sarah had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then? Yep. There's more sounds between us. Sayori stores- yeah, Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So. Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Griffin. Eh. Why can't it just be like it always has been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori. 
I grabbed Siri by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. Ah ha ha. Siri gives me an empty smile. You already put me in a trap, Griffin. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Siri? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Griffin? I guess I have no choice this time. <sighs> the thing is, I've had very bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like, and that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Siri kept this from me here? That kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me just to not think about her? Why, Siri? Eh, why is it that you never told me about this? <sighs> It almost feels like I've been betrayed by your co- by- uh, the, It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because I knew I would have done everything I could do to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little bit- a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Griffin. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing Im Im important things. I do. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. But I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Griffin. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that you could that could have helped is if everything could be like it always has been. But I, but I was selfish. I finally assured you what a horrible person I am. Tears streak down Sirius' face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished for my heart hurting in the way I couldn't understand. I know you came here and I and made it you hurt and I made you hurt too. I I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. But I'm thinking I once again grab Siri's shoulders. This time I pour her into a tight embrace. Uh uh. Griffin? Siri. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm more really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. And if I if I make friends with everyone else, that's just a bonus. But but please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Griffin, Siri isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. 
Griffin. I, Siri Bay manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Syria finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Griffin. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary, too. Siri lets me go, as she does, I let go of her as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like it for me to spend it all with you? Uh, um, uh, it's that is, it's what I want. I promise. I, I think that'd be nice then. Yeah. Siri wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day with her. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Yuri shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know that. It, I don't know if that would be a very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. Say goodbye to Siri and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over, too. I think Siri is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Uh, thank goodness. You're a little early. <laughs> I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I if I had known, I would have reassumed. I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope that I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. I think you're in my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean! <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate of you to do. Uh, no. I'd be really embarrassed if my room was a mess when you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Uh... That would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there! I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Uh, ah, uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both her hands firmly on her lap as if making sure she is keeping track of them. So, um... Should we get started? Uh, yes. 
I might have a few things friend that you can help me with. Decorations and other atmospheric enha enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements. You know, mood, lighting, aromatherapy candles. Oh wow. I don't I don't I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wait wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Ah. Uh, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. That's something that I like about you, actually. I is that so? That makes me feel relieved. I'm kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You should relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummaging rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a, and a wooden cylinder shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows with black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's the wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Ah, uh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributions to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, can, um, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel a permanent, um, uh, blah. A permanent through your body. Feel it, I can't read. Hey, if you should me, just. Oh no. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. That's almost like magic. Yuri takes a cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. And just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to sprout through a small hole on the top. Well, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is jasmine oil. It's just not an essential oil. It's not just regular oil. It's essential. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than, than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that will be, that that will be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion. Marie smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spoil spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well... Did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over there. I'll be using the paper for floating origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah. What are those used for? Oh, I almost messed up. Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. And then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway, um, certain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It wouldn't- it would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good, Yuri, at this. 
I mean, so good at this. I can't. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you put it. Ahaha. Ah, you already know, giggles with red sheets. Oh, she's blushing. She's blushing. Oh. Is this mirror is she more relaxed when it when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Griffin. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Okay, I'm gonna write that effort, actually. Uh, alright. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my, ba my bad handwriting. Well, that sounds like me in real life. I have awful handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to to her desi desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh. The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an in in the in treat. Saint pattern of waves and etched into it. The blade itself is gently t tightened, tight ah, tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Uh, well, embarrassed Jury looks away. What is it? You're going to think this is. You're going to think it's weird. Whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise, you won't be worried out. Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. Uh, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Uh, uh, what, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. Uh, uh, ha, ha. You're laughing at me? No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be go be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's really cool. It's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Really relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Very carefully into the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Griffin! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. You take the hand and give the wound and, it's like, and, it's like, and gives the wound a push like, Ah! Uh, she stares at me not noticeably and not I notice the fidgets. If you're squirmish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah! Uh, that morning, Yuri puts a finger in her mouth and licks the wound. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Start and stiffly and instinctively pull back my hand back. Uh oh. But please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I you're in the was her head her face burning up burning up. Yuri that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh Sure, it was a little weird, but it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? You're right, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh... She doesn't lift her head. Boy, she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon. Alright, uh, you know what? 
This might be a stupid thing to do, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand, I lick her index finger in return. Griffin! Did you really just do that? Now we're even. Now we're even. Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. It's not for the sweet aroma of jasmine oil, and the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Griffin. I know. Really giggle sh shyly. Eh. You're really calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh, I don't think I need one actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The touch just quickly lifted. We need to reassume our respective activities. I watch your knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish touching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out by side by side. It looks better than I expected, and I will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thing you're coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tables. Ah, that's right. One of the items Zuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you think fetching the, do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it'll be too diluted. Yeah, I don't know that the hard way in theater production. You don't want to have too much water or the paint is just gonna be awful. Taking Yuri's advice, I decide to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I come into my room to see Yuri unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm quickly. Uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Oh, she's blushing even more. She's blushing even more. That means she likes me. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I like to paint a graduate, a graduate in it across the banner. I'm starting with the colors for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang out on the wall behind the podium at, at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. What are you going to write? Well, it'll be more fun to surprise you. Ray smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on the opposite side so we don't get in the way of each other. <laughs> Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like art class projects we, ca we, ca we hand back then. It's relaxing. Uh, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. 
you know, yeah. It is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Maybe she stops panting for a moment and thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. If we don't talk much, just having a friend next to me makes me feel a little bit nicer. Aww. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. To be honest, if you like to do something and 90% of the things out there that you like to do can be done with more than two people, it's, mo it's a lot more fun if you're doing it with another person. I got bored playing. I used to play GTI on the Xbox all the time. And then I just got bored because I had no friends to play with. <laughs> and then I learned about GTA on the PC, and I got mad because I had to start all over, but I found friends to play with, and then it made me a lot more happier. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over, over the banner to grab an un... That and unused paintbrush, but I move at the same time, causing my head to bump in into hers. Yeah, so sorry. Your reels back, and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. It just startled me. That's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Ah, your face. There are drops of paint on Yuri's face and neck. <clears throat> Is this something on my face? Yeah, I actually got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel that dampened it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Ah, uh, is something wrong? It's hot, I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Eh. Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Ah. Uh, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in days and enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly part, not part, parted lips. What's hap what is happening? Is it the aroma of jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Your gentle, gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist what would send a tightening sensation through my arm. And suddenly her face seems to be much closer than mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah! Uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry, I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Mary picks up her, her brush again. But her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent to ignore the event that just transpired. I hastily retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finished filling the night sky with um white dots that look like stars. And looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural. I think it came out better than I expected. 
I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Uh, not yet. I need to dry first. Hmm. What are we gonna do till then? That's true, won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it'll be best to leave it here and you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew! <laughs> you see that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Uh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little, I was a little bit concerned about this about it this time. I need to start m making dinner soon. Uh, so you don't have any time left. I was secretly hoping we had we would have extra time after finishing the work. Well. Your thanks to herself. I think it would be too irresponsible I mean to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. It's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So it shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all our things, it already seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. And suddenly she really gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean it's the last time it can happen. Once you're packed, so I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Ray Fidgets, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, I kind of say, I kind of say that without thinking. About today, it's fun that we didn't have as much <coughs> time as we wanted, because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over. We can go out somewhere. I forget. You don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Griffin. You already take a step closer to me, then briefly squeeze my hand. I kind of like that about you. Well... How am I supposed to respond to that? Matt don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. So, say, are we? Uh... Uh... Hi, Griffin. Say, are we? Just now we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Griffin. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, um. It was nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, uh, really? That's too bad. <clears throat> I'm sorry. But we'll be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course. Siri beams. Y yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow! Cory embarrassed Yuri hurries off. Sorry waves goodbye after her. Sorry. I thought you didn't want to come over today. <laughs> well, I tried staying in my room, but my Im immigration was being really mean to me. My imagination. I keep saying imagination. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. And how close you got to her. It makes you very happy. That you made such good friends. <clears throat> and that's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall on Siri's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Griffin? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Siri, don't say that. It's true, Griffin. 
If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put <clears throat> up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... <clears throat> Monica? Monica was right about what? Sorry. What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burn... Isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. And something that makes me happy. That's something that I would trade for anything else. See, even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, but Siri looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Griffin. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Siri? I'm scared that that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori, it's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Griffin, I like you so much I want to die. That's how I feel. And, and, that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slammed my hand down Sierra's arm and squeezed her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Worry, word this Sierra nods, even if you don't understand all of your own feelings. I know what you need the most right now, and that's what I'm going to give you. Sierra. You'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for things to be like they've always has been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please trust me that I know what's best for you. I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. I promise to help get the, get things back to the way they were. I... I see. A Siri forced a smile through an incredibly pained expression. <laughs> Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? I should write a poem about this. Sayori. It's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. So please. Please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time that there was no happiness down that path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I need to hear. And the other thing. You're also right. I just want it to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. And you really do know me better than anyone, Griffin. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So. Siri's smile finally breaks. All of a sudden she turns around and drops to her knees. Ah! Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. And Siri looks over her shoulder. And flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Siri! Emma helpfully sees standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more that I could have done. The most I can do is support Siri through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. But I'm having much trouble understanding Siri's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if. I should be doing something more, uh, more, or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sorry will always be my dearest friend, and I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. Alright, since this is the day of the festival, I think I'm gonna end it here, um... 
Oh, is there a save? Because if you don't save, then bad things happen. Um, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. Um, I'm trying to get um, the entire part of the normal game done before April. I got to take 11 days left, so I don't think I'm going to get there. Because I'm studying for my giant, like, a lot every day. I got a lot of it to do. Um, I'm going to try my hardest, though. I got the rest of this, and I have the true ending, and that's it. And then I can do DLC Plus. I probably will try to do that. I don't, I don't have any plans for Spring Break yet. I was probably going to go to another hockey game, but money's a little bit tight right now. So I don't think I'm going to be doing that. But if I do on the show, no, and I'll definitely make a vlog about that if I do. Um, I'm getting off topic, but just thank you all for watching. I don't know when I'll have the next part updated. I'll try to definitely get it before Friday, though, which is like five days away. So I'll try it. That's my goal. I probably will have it uploaded like Wednesday, maybe Thursday. I don't know. But, uh, um, thank you so, so much for watching. That's like the third time I said that. Um, remember, also, please like and subscribe. Actually, no, well, actually, only like and subscribe if you think that Russia is doing dumb things and that Ukraine does, does, and then you think Ukraine deserves to keep their country as Ukraine and that Russia should stop attacking them. And if you don't like and subscribe because of that, then you're a rude person. No, I'm just kidding. If you don't want to like and subscribe, then that's fine. Just like, at least share my video to some of your friends if you have friends. If you don't have friends, then just share it on social media or something. It would really help me to, um, to get to my goal of 50 subscribers for the end of the year, which is really honestly just sad that I'm not... I have that this little people, but I mean, they I mean I, what they do say is good things come to those who wait. So I'm just gonna wait and then hope that good fortune falls upon me someday. Anyways, I guess that's all for now. Um, I'm gonna end the recording in like just a second. And as always, until next time, peace out, guys.